Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Technical Test Analyst. We are in chapter 4 and continuing with the next topic which is the sample questions on the chapter 4. We are done with a lot of uh, discussions on different segments of quality characteristics and in this tutorial we are looking forward to have sample questions. The very first thing is the exam pattern, what kind of question you can expect from chapter 4 that is quality characteristics for technical testing. Here in total you have 13 mandatory questions. Uh, as you see that there are a lot of topics and each topic covers uh, one or the other interesting aspect and it's completely different from each other and that's where uh, every topic becomes quite important for you and this has most weightage in your entire syllabus and has 13 mandatory questions so must make sure that you cover the targeted options pretty well to start with the very first option here uh, we have the very first question I'm also taking one scenario based question at the same time uh, you can also look forward to some simple questions and straightforward questions from this chapter number one assume you are working as a technical test analyst on the system integration testing of the baggage handling system for a major airport most of the system components are developed by the main contractor, but the system components for baggage redirection and for handling outsized items are being developed offshore by separate organization. The airport operator is the customer for the project and has indicated that the system must run fast even under peak morning and evening loads. A fully representative test environment has been made available for the system integration test and a specialist tool team has been set up to support the functional and non-functional testing. Some of the functional tests for the continuous integration have already been implemented but progress is slow. Based on this information, which of the following topics are you most likely to identify as risk in the system integration test plan? Now, first of all, uh, one important thing is that when you read a scenario, you try to derive the important outcomes and look at the preciseness of certain things which should be given to you in terms of planning. So first of all, it is talking about system integration and they have justified it in your scenario so you don't have to worry about it. Second is the requirement which they have given about the performance testing, which is like uh, they have to handle the loads uh, based on peak morning and evening loads. So that's one thing. Second is uh, the tools is another concern which will be obviously uh, they will have set up for that so that's their own uh, standards to deal with it and then comes the part of the continuous integration so it has been already implemented. So to understand each and every option here you need to actually pick up the justification from the scenario and take an outcome from there. Uh, which will give you the best answer to pick up the right answer. So let's start with A, where A is including the stakeholder uh, requirement, which is the first and foremost thing, where we uh, consider that as one of the right option. The reason is, when they talk about the performance testing or performance requirement, they just can't mention that airport operator is a customer for whom indicating that the system must run fast, even under peak uh, morning and uh, uh, evening loads so, so run fast is like a vague requirement is that because you're looking for a response time if you look at airport system even uh, you do have belt system which has a consistent time no matter how load it is it is the people who has to bring the system uh, loads or and put that on the belt and another thing if it is looking even for the automated system the belt would remain the same and if you other way talk about the parameters of performance testing then just a single statement cannot justify you that what kind of performance requirement should be met so it, it, it does not have any specific clarity on this which can let us understand that what exactly is the requirement whereas the required tool acquisition and training could be an internal aspect that has none of the business to talk about the system integration testing the tool will be a part of it and you will acquire that and look into the internal organization standards for that. Test environment requirements, I think uh, we are pretty clear with that and we do not have any concerns as a fully representative test environment is already available in the scenario so should not be a concern to us. Let's talk about the organization factors here that is organization considerations. Um, if components are distributed 
across different sites and organization, the effort required to plan and coordinate the system integration test may be significant and must be addressed in the test planning. So you see that the their team in the scenario are uh, very well uh, distributed. Some are offshore, some are you know uh, working within the organization and that communication plays a vital role from the in-source, outsource approach. You should understand that and uh, that should be one of the concern and data security consideration it basically reach out to be uh, data security considerations are not at all mentioned in the scenario so we that could not be a part of the uh, consideration when you have to consider it as a risk so putting it all together the right answer here is a and d where a is the stakeholder requirement about performance testing and d is the organizational consider as your team is distributed so you must plan for something that Let's look at the next question here. Consider the following risk, abnormal application termination due to network connection failure. Now, which of the following is the appropriate test type to address this risk? Team, first of all, there are two things here. One is the main concept that is abnormal application termination. And second is the reason behind that, that is the root cause. So when it comes to any risk is how exactly you will be addressing First, you know what is the risk and what is the main reason of that to happen. So you have assessed your risk, of course. But how will you address it? You have a core level of testing to address such type of risk which it is associated with. And that is what you need to find out. Now, when you talk about abnormal application termination, this is not about performance. This is not about operation. And this is not about portability. It's completely about reliability, how reliable this product is. If we are trying to stand for a long duration and we are trying to work it for on this particular application consistently, then we just need to make sure that the tool is available at different point of time. And even if you talk about uh, reliability, the fault tolerance, like how, you know, the range what you have is actually a part of reliability. So you should actually recall the sub characteristics of each level and then understand. Whereas performance testing, we are not worried about the response time here, throughput, and that is the performance parameters. So until unless they specify those performance parameters, you cannot look forward to pick up that option. Operability, the risk does not state a usability. So operability is from the point of understandability, learnability, and so on, which covers actually usability, but this is not a part of it. And uh, when it comes to D, portability testing, which is completely to port an application from one environment to another environment and a change of type of network is not questioned here in portability. So the right answer here is A, reliability testing as the fault tolerance is one of the parameter or sub characteristics of reliability testing. Let's look at the question number three, which of the following statement is not correct? Select one option. A. It is desirable to conduct initial performance efficiency test as early as possible, even if the product-like environment is not yet available. Okay, yes, remember that some of the parameters we have learned that it is possible to start some of the testing quite early. Even if you talk about the, uh, the recent one which we covered is compatibility testing. And compatibility testing can actually begin if the real environment is not yet available to make sure that it is open. B, availability testing is performed both before and after entering operation services. So availability is again from one of the parameters and yes, it is possible to conduct a lot of non-functional parameters before uh, the real environment is available or real uh, level of testing comes into picture. C, because security issues can be introduced during the architecture, design and implementation of the system, security testing should happen after functional testing is done. I think this is the statement which looks more contradicting. The first part is absolutely fine. That yes, the security issues can al always be introduced during uh, architecture design or implementation of the system. That does not mean that it should happen after all the functional testing is done. It should actually be triggered first and initially should be started and conducted uh, right from the beginning, right from the design, in fact, to cover and make sure that you have phase containment and try to figure out as many defects as possible as early in the cycle. So this is one statement which we think is the contradiction. But let's look at D. Maintainability can be evaluated early in the life cycle without having to wait for a completed and running system. 
Uh, that's of course no matter what kind of level you're talking about what type of testing you're talking about everything will be started initially in the beginning of the life cycle and does not really wait for a system to be ready in order to finally organize and conduct that so right answer here is c which is contradicting saying that we should not do it before system testing and uh, that's actually wrong so this is not correct that is c let's look at the last question of this session and this tutorial number four a new personal banking system is to be developed for used on mobile devices which of the following reasons which would be justifying including security testing in the test approach so here we are talking about security testing and the second important thing is mobile devices so let's start understanding the options here and here we have to select two options a to ensure the product can be effectively and efficiently modified without introducing defects now that's from the point of maintainability so yes uh, I think we are not looking into the security point at option a B to ensure that the software does not exhibit unintended side effect when performing its intended functions now security is one of the functional level so whenever you try to do any kind of changes in that it may impact a functional end and you know you can talk about having such kind of side effects which are related to functionality whereas in option a effective and efficient modified without introducing defect is completely on the maintainability part so that's just just a hairline gap between these two options. if you can observe that then you don't have to really pick up a so b sounds a little more interesting because security is a functional uh, side uh, approach and generally done by the developer uh, the test analyst c to evaluate whether the application installs correctly on a mobile device that's installability testing team not security testing d to check the available functions are correctly implemented now that's again confirmation so will not be a part of it d to ensure that no sensitive data can be copied so sensitive data is of course one of the important thing which we cover as a part of security and uh, really don't have to have a question when it comes to security testing that what exactly we are trying to test so everything gets covered very well as a part of security testing here so we have a very good option to pick up from the options that uh, one is security testing is all about the measurement of uh, the sensitive data and people must not be able to capture any kind of information from uh, the source so let's pick up the right answer here so the right answer is b to ensure that the software does not exhibit exhibit unintended side effects when performing its intended function that's a quality characteristic and e to ensure that no sensitive data can be copied that's a key performance or sorry key security parameter which need to be tested so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below as we know that we are not covering all the questions there are many other questions which you are free to comment and i'll be there to address your queries till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.